doesn't look like I'm in Canada right now, but I'm not, I'm in Kazakhstan. <laughs> this is why we recommend you come out to untouched and less touristy places. I mean, for lunch, we ate at a local's house because there were no restaurants and then jumped into Soviet style vehicles to drive out to the middle of nowhere. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kazakhstan. This is part two of our series here in this incredible country that we're being blown away every single day we're here. And one of the main reasons you come out to Kazakhstan is to see the nature. And we're currently heading towards a lake because Kazakhstan is known to have some of the most beautiful lakes around the world. And we're actually heading to one of the most famous ones called Candy Lake. We've got a couple of spots before we actually get to these lakes. We've come out to Moon Canyon. And it's meant to look like the Grand Canyon of Central Asia. It's quite cool because the vegetation here in Kazakhstan is so short. Whenever you come to a high point, you can see so far out. Like right now, I can see mountains that are so far away that are snow capped. Also see the hills that we're currently looking at. And then just behind there is the canyon. And they call it Moon Canyon because when you look at it from above, it looks like the surface of the moon. That's pretty unique to be honest. Small town kid, got a small town life to live. Small town kid is a We've just stopped off at this little local village for lunch before we hike up to this lake. And something we've noticed about Kazakhstan is the infrastructure is still very minimal. Like we've come to this village, there are no restaurants, but there is this little house and they've cooked us a meal in their kitchen. So we're gonna be having a local lunch with some locals before we head off. I mean, this guy's house really is in the middle of nowhere. We've come right to the south of Kazakhstan, right near the Kyrgyzstan border. So all I can hear is cows going, and that's really about it. I'm pretty hungry though, so I'm excited to have some food. So if you guys are interested in what type of meals you would expect to have here in Kazakhstan, so over the last few days that we've been here, the meals have started with a soup dish, and then it would move on to like a potato, bit of veggies, and then you can have like beef or lamb. It's very starchy meals. That's the kind of meals we've pretty much had for dinner and for lunch and then breakfast is usually porridge and then eggs but it's been so good because they have such a culture with their dinners it's more of a social event so while the food is being cooked everyone is still there it's not just like rock up when mom says dinner's ready they'll serve out tea and they'll have a lot of biscuits and treats before the meal which normally we would have after the meal like as a dessert so it's been really nice because each meal kind of starts with dessert with the little biscuits and the tea so these are going to be our transportation to get us up to the lakes i'm starting to question how these are going to get up to the lakes <laughs> to be honest they're old soviet vehicles they're still hanging around now and this is going to be the best way to get us up to the lakes Wow, I just love the minimalistic design of this vehicle. You got the wheel, you got the gear stick, a few knobs to show you how much fuel's in there, and that is pretty much it. And that is where we're gonna be sitting. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> have been hiding we just jumped off our soviet union jeeps and we are now walking down to this famous lake and there are pine trees everywhere and our guide just told us that this is the only place in the world that you're going to find these type of pine trees this is that diverse kazakhstan terrain we've been telling you about guys i mean we haven't seen barely any trees this entire trip and now we are surrounded by them we're currently in 
a forest. Wow. We have just come out. There is a story with this lake and it is so unique. You can probably see some petrified trees in the lake there. So what happened was this lake wasn't here a hundred years ago and an earthquake happened and then it suddenly filled up with water and the water is so cold that the pine trees that were here got petrified. So these trees have basically been preserved for the last 100 years just living in this lake. How cool is that? And look at these colors. There are so many greens and turquoise colors I'm seeing right now. Just in the reflection alone, you look up, you see the pine cones, you see all the shrubbery, then you have like the gray petrified trees. And what's cool is no one is here. I know. I mean, this is a reason to chuck Kazakhstan on your bucket list. Guys, this is why we recommend you come out to untouched and less touristy places. I mean, for lunch we ate at a local's house because there were no restaurants and then jumped into Soviet-style vehicles to drive out to the middle of nowhere and this lake should really be on your bucket list. It is so beautiful and the unique story as well is so fascinating. Alright Jess, let us know how cold the water is that petrified all those trees. Oh, it's like icy. Feel icy? Like, oh yeah, that's really cold. Feels like glacier water. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is cold. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so cold. It's literally like ice water. Literally the realities of trying to get an Instagram photos. Expectations, <laughs> reality. <laughs> so Kazakhstan is one of those nomadic nations. There's only a few of them. Mongolia, of course, is one of them as well. And there's quite a large population here in the country where they'll just set up tent or set up a yurt, which is their traditional house go on horseback, live off the land, move on. So it's kind of cool to see that some of them have just set up their yurts here for the night. I mean, to be honest, if they offered us to stay here, I would 100% be down to having a night's sleep here in the national park. Because if you step out of that and that's your view, that would be breathtaking. Alrighty, back in the vans. dark is it picking up yeah we are currently staying inside a national park surrounded by mountains and the most famous lake in all of Kazakhstan <laughs> <laughs> we just walked up a hill and we're currently around what 2,000 2, meters up and you know <laughs> when you haven't been high, like in high altitude for a while I feel like the littlest walk makes it feel like you just at a marathon or we just ate too much of that good food at that guy's yeah. house <laughs> <laughs> that's true as well can you see it? Does it pick up on camera? Yeah. So we're staying down in these little kind of like bungalows right in the middle of the national park and the lake. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for the morning because it looks incredible. Like I had no idea Kazakhstan looked like this. I had no idea how many national parks there were. Amazing. And they've just put on a fire. So I think we're going to go get in some blankets, rug up around the fire and enjoy staying here in such a beautiful place. So this is our little cozy room for the night. And you know what's perfect? I'm pretty sure these are sheep rugs for our blanket. Oh, that is so warm and soft. I think we're gonna use this for the fire. On that. You're hugging your coffee. Got our coffee, stole these Gucci blankets from the bed, and we've come to look at the view now that the sun has risen and it is so nice. This is where we slept next to last <laughs> yeah, night. 
didn't even know it was going to look this nice. With the 2,000 meters above sea level and that cold lake, it is a little bit chilly this morning. Coffee time? Coffee time. <laughs> Found a friend. He's our big lake dog. Hey, buddy, you gonna come for a walk with us? So we just come out for a morning stroll around the lake and it's really nice because they've built this wooden walkway around so we're currently walking around the left side of the lake and these colors I can't get over them they're just turquoise there's supposed a couple of boats you can rent out so I think that's this afternoon's plans it looks so nice with your Canada jumper because it's like the red on blue doesn't it look like I'm in Canada right now? But I'm not, I'm in Kazakhstan. <laughs> We've decided to have a little cute romantic afternoon. They've given us some cute um, little life jackets, but this lake is unreal and you need to see it on the water. I think so. I just <laughs> he looks so cute right droplets. now. <laughs> he like blew them up around our neck. It was so oh, yeah, cute. <laughs> Jess, we rented the wrong contraptions. <laughs> you can sit down on a seat. <laughs> That's so cool. Hello. Hi. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> the locals are so friendly. So we've just arrived at the Almaty Airport. Gonna catch a two hour domestic flight up to the north. All right, so now we can tell you why we are here. Honestly, this feels almost like an emotional day because it's, it's so cool.